Happy Halloween, everyone! Middle school launches a new competition. NHS gets ready to help out, wearing pink for cancer. And it's almost showtime. Those items and more, all for you on your news for Tuesday, October 31st. I'm Chase. And I'm Carly. And your update starts right now. people and welcome to your update we got a lot to cover today so Carly why don't you start us off okay well for starters heads up middle school it's competition time so get ready middle school will be collecting items for operation Christmas child we will have a team competition as well as a homeroom competition for who can bring in the most items because I'm so lazy I'm sure somebody in my homeroom will come and clutch yeah, okay, buddy. It's not that hard to go shopping or that big of a deal anyways. Sure it is. I can't even send out love letters to the ladies through the boxes. Oh, brother. Well, why is it so important? Well, the homeroom class who brings the most items will receive a donut party and dress down day on the Monday right after Thanksgiving break. Check out a thermometer looking graph in the middle school hallway to see which team is in the lead. Each number on the thermometer will be a special prize determined by your 8th grade student senate. <laughs> Shout out to Andrew Fareg. Do something good for me, will ya? Like maybe a onesie day or a... Uh... I don't know. Chase, oh. you're so immature. Moving on, in exactly two weeks, Operation Christmas Child will come back around for this shoebox packing day. And yes, you have to go because NHS members and middle school will join together on this day to pack the shoe boxes to prepare for shipping. Chase, that's enough of the rudeness. Ugh. Well, anywho, tomorrow is class shirt day for high school and middle school. Y'all know to only wear this year's shirt, not the one from last year. But don't they all like have the same graduation year on them? Yeah, I don't know who makes the rules, but it is what it is. Okay, well, speaking of clothes, on Thursday, I'm gonna Barbie out. Chase, are you being for real right now? Why? Well, it'll be Cancer Awareness Day. Middle school and high school students can bring in $5 by Thursday to wear a pink shirt with jeans and sneakers to your homeroom teacher. High school student senate is collecting the money and will donate it to for former teacher Mrs. Dominguez and history teacher Mrs. Sco Schoon who, who, will be, who have been battling cancer recently. Well before I completely lose my mind, let's send it to sports. Thanks guys. Well there isn't, for sports there isn't much this week. I heard that there's a cross country meet, so is that true Adam? Sure is. The cross country team will be heading over to SFCA on Thursday for their district meet which is at 9 a.m. Also on Thursday the first girls weightlifting match of the season as they are on the road to Venice at 4 p.m. so they'll be leaving a little bit early that day so good luck that's right also the varsity football team will be in action too as they will be playing CSN at 7 o'clock one thing you did forget Adam is that the football game will be at home is that it it sure is so let's send it off to news desk for the last few announcements Thanks, sports. Now it's time for a few more final announcements. That's right. On Thursday, the high school drama One Act Play will be held in the Fine Arts Theater at 6.30. The play is named Same Room, Different Story, and we'll go through the lives of six individual people. Keep in mind that this play is intended for students 13 years or older. Well, one last thing, Chase. Chad Moore will be speaking at the Recharge on November the second and the third. Remember that this Thursday will be the same chapel schedule as always, but on Friday, it's a combined chapel. Well, that's all from us. See you next time, Sense. 